This is Olga Kirschenbaum with nine minutes of Creative Wisdom Podcast, where creative business owners making over six figures share their wisdom. It is six questions in nine minutes because creatives have a short attention span. So let's get to it. In a few sentences, tell me who you are and what you do. Oh, hello. Um, my name is Matthew Gagnon. I go by Matt. And I am a mindset coach, life coach, whatever you want to call me. Bottom line is I help people get unstuck. And I have a very strong belief system in living life aligned with your values. Because the biggest problem I've seen is that most people live life with values defined by others. They check off all of society's boxes. And they have the six-figure job. They have the car. They have the clothes, the family. And yet they feel miserable Mm. inside. And so, and that was my life. I checked off all the boxes. I was a good boy. And then by 30, I was suicidal. Mm. So something had to change. But who I am as a person, like I'm a music lover. I got my guitars behind me. I sing. Uh, I've got a six-year-old son, a wife that I've been with since I was 15 from Maine. Uh, Awesome. I'm pretty hilarious, actually. I'm I'm a pretty funny person. And uh, probably one of the best at Beatles trivia. So that's my stuff. Love it. So tell us, what is the best thing about being in business? For me, it's pretty obvious. It's I get to have limitless success. Mm -hmm. Like it's limitless. I also have like limitless failure. So it's, (laughs) it's the extremes. And look, I've come to grips with it. I live in extremes. Like I've never half asked anything. I'm a whole ass person. So I, I just, I don't know how to do that. So I love the unlimited potential because in my corporate days, I could work 80 hours a week and have a killer year. And the best return on that might be a 5% raise at max. That's aggressive. You know, in this, this is my fourth year in a row at a minimum of double digit comps over last year. Like I've been in business five years. It's been double and triple digits comps every year. This has been the best year of my professional career total, not just as a coach, but total. That's incredible. So I love that. And I get to design it however the hell I want. I get to pick who I work with. I get to pick mm. how I do it. Like, I love it. Autonomy all the way. Yeah. So I hear from other creative business owners that they avoid money issues like the plague. Tell us your thoughts. What's an example of money issues? Well, any money matters. Like, for example, people don't open business mail for months because they just don't want to deal with the bills. <laughs> All right. So I totally relate to that. What's interesting is when I started my business, I was sick. I was on disability. Um, I was really sick. And everything was changing for me. And one of the things that changed was all of a sudden mail gave me massive anxiety, mm. like massive anxiety. I was six months behind on my mortgage. Um, I went from making six figures to just my figure and I had an infant son, a wife out of work and a, like, you know, a half million dollar home that I just built. And I'm like, Hey, let's start a business. Um, cause I'm unemployable. I'm not well. And, um, but yeah, I remember what it was like not being able to open the mail and just ignoring it. Part of it was like kind of helpful because I knew I couldn't pay the bills. Mm. So it was like the, just, it represented shame. And my wife would laugh at me. She's like, why do you like, more concerned. She's like, why do you just throw the mail away? You're throwing the bills away. I'm like, well, they're going to send them again next month. I'm like, why let it pile up to look more than it is? I'm like, I ah, just get rid of it. But now I'm, I'm in a place where I'm honoring my debts. And, mm. and I don't pretend that it's perfect. Like, look, I've got an amazing job. Like my business is thriving. Doesn't mean financially I'm thriving yet either. I'm baby steps along the way. Like that's the truth as being an entrepreneur right now. And it's like, I'm making progress. And sometimes I fall behind. It's a cash flow issue, but I'm getting smarter every single time. And I think the smartest thing is, is I'm learning that I shouldn't be the one in charge of it. And yeah. I need to hire somebody to take over that and also call me out when I'm doing stupid stuff. I so, hear you. Yeah. There's definitely no shame in falling behind. I bootstrapped my own business because I mm-hmm. was unemployable. And that's, I feel like, part of the journey of being an entrepreneur, especially if you're going Mm -hmm. to the gig economy in these days. Best thing that ever happened to me was being broke when I built my business. I had to learn how to do everything for free. 
Exactly. And I had to learn how to get very clear about my message and my purpose in a way where people's eyes didn't glaze over when I said it. Yeah. So, because if you can't talk about your business in an effective way, you have no right to spend any money on your business. It's just a waste. Agreed. So, I think if you can't find a way to do it for free and figure it out, you should not be paying for it. That's right. I love it. So what other success, successful creative six-figure business owners like yourself should be on my podcast? Oh, how dare you like start like getting the referrals already. Um, I love it. <laughs> well, I don't know all of my friends' financial status in this world, but I can tell you like, you know, significant people that you should meet. I and love that. If you can get this guy on here, it's, his name's Peter Stropel. And he doesn't always do podcasts or stuff like that, but he's one of the most mysterious human beings I've ever met and fascinating. He's one of Time Magazine's most connected men in America at one point. And I, he knows everybody. I am uh, intrigued. And he's a dear friend. He's a dear friend. Uh, I go to a networking group with him every Saturday. Um, and a uh, fascinating human being. He's worked with, he's just a connector at heart. And so he would be one guy I would highly recommend. A good friend of mine, Jim Bledsoe, is another one. Marcus Aurelius Anderson is a legend and a brother to me. Um, so those are, those are some top people that I highly recommend. Um, I just, I look up to him. Dr. Dave White is another good guy. I love that dude out in California. So love it. Super cool. So what is the one piece of wisdom or advice that other creative business owners should know? the one piece of advice, I'm not typically one for giving advice as a coach, but um, the simplest thing is this. If you have to show up at work differently than you show up at home, you have a problem. Mm. Like there needs to be some congruency there because if you're not, you're wearing a mask and sooner or later, you're going to forget who you are. And then your personal life is going to struggle and your business life is going to struggle and you're going to attract the wrong clients because they're attracted to your mask and not you. So mm. do your work in alignment with your values. If you don't know what your values are, you better give me a call. Like, cause that's, that's just my specialty. I help people rediscover who they are, not reinvent. So you got to know your values and you have to show up at work very similar to the way you show up at home. It's not, it's not rocket science. You just got to learn who you are and own the shit out of it. Powerful. Powerful. So now, the most important question of the podcast. Какая ваша любимая музыка? Or in English, what is your favorite music? Oh, my favorite music. I love classic rock from 1965 to 1975. And then I love 90s alternative grunge. So, love it. Yeah. Favorite song would have to be The Who, Teenage Wasteland, or Bob O'Reilly and The Beatles, Golden Slumbers. Amazing. Uh, those, those are right on the list. Yeah. Vibin. Thank you, Matt, for being on. What's your website so people can find you? It's not. It's LinkedIn. Uh, I, don't, I still don't have a website. So find me on LinkedIn under Matt Ganyon 1. I couldn't get the uh, Matt Ganyon just straight up. So Matt Ganyon 1, find me on there. A bunch of emojis in my headline. Awesome. This is Olga Kirschenbaum with nine minutes of creative wisdom, where creative business owners making over six figures share their wisdom in nine minutes. Make sure you check out my blog at ragsrichesconsulting.com to get money insights you haven't heard before. <laughs>